Hello, my name is Liu Si. I'm prone to be a student at USW Business School. The MGMT fifteen fifteen course is over. So all the knowledge and reflections learned in this class will be shown in these reflection videos. First of all. Or in this course, I learned about the importance of the SDGs for the humans, world, and development, and learning to use the seven steps of the ethical decision to make the decisions. It blows the CSRs in the development of the companies. The impact on the various stakeholders and the, the shareholders, and how to add the ESG to the company's development plan. Analyze through the use of the utilitarian theories and the virtual ethicals to determine if the company is actually acting ethically. There are still many points of the knowledge not mentioned, and in the assignment task of the course, the result was not very satisfactory. But the feedback from the tutors clearly illustrated my problems, allowing me to understand how to change in the future. I only received the pass mark in the feedback for the assessment one because there was not sufficient understanding of the company's values, and the writing was not in depth enough. This was due to factors that I was limited to reading the one to two documents in. Preparations for this assignment, so I had very little informations. Other than that, I don't、uh, summarize after I describe an argument. In assessment two, I corrected the short comments of the assessment one. I one and my feedback score was improved. But I was still not very specific about the use of the series. For example, the utilitarian series and the virtuous ethicals include a lot of knowledges, but I didn't understand the the ethical issues of the company's salaries in this assessment. So I didn't know how to apply the. Series. In addition, this is still no completed conclusion to the argument, which is a big problem in my writing, and I will study further in the futures in order to get a high score. The weekly wiki set up in this course, I think, is made me learn more and change my activities. It analyzes the new concepts and knowledge by reading the articles every week with my personal ideas. For example, before I would use the subjective ideas when making the decision, but after I use the seven steps of the ethical decision making, I'm less biased when making the decisions. For the handlers, the articles about how organizations should operate is of the reflection and、uh, interests of the different stakeholders to be able to gain long-term benefits. It gives me a better understanding of how to measure and select the target partners coming in the future. At the end of the videos, I could appreciate more the importance of the reflections, and in the future, I hope I can be an excellent leader. According to the Porter articles, as a leader is more capable of the analyze and reflection on his actions at the all time, and making the positive change and using them in the future actions. It was a very rewarding learning experience. Thank you for your watching.